everyone. Welcome to the next video. And here we go. So um, we'll continue with the kind of various figures you can use for sketching. And of course, all the, you know, uh, uh, steps and everything in sketching, you can, of course, get from my from my book, where this everything very well explain everything of the figures, yes. Um, so uh, uh, I still have left approximately 40 only. So, um, you know, if anybody wants, you can actually, you know, <clears throat> start thinking about this because it's only 40 copies left and I don't want to, um, you know, uh, print uh, an update maybe, but not this year, maybe next year, maybe a bit longer. Anyway, so there's the figures. You can also use, you see, this kind of figures, which all has for, you know, for the, you know, um, uh, this kind of, you know, sketching of feeling different, you know, forms, even you see different angles of it. Yes, you can very easily understand the shortenings and everything. Yes, in those figures, they are not very movable. It's only the head is, is turning around so you can move the head. And with the arms, you can only have that way and that way, yes. Uh, and the rest is actually still. In those, a little bit better because you have the legs moving, the uh, the arms moving, and the head is moving. So they are much more flexible, but the proportions are kind of exaggerated. You see, that is hero proportions. Normally, the arms should be already here, you see. So it arms larger the figures. So the proportions, if you would like to, Drawing proportions, you would have to have these arms push it inside and they should get from here, there. Because the other things are kind of close to the eight and here one, two, three. Well, let's say half, half, approximately half, half I have, yes? So that's okay. Here uh, is a little bit much more heroic. So you have more than four heads to the middle. It's gonna be like two, three, four and something. So the same is half, half, it's close. But anyway, you can practice on those because those are much better than <clears throat> the wooden one before. Yeah, this is completely off. Yes, um, in the body parts from the top of the head to the pelvis and to the heels, they're the same, but the head is bigger. It doesn't work after. So anyway, <clears throat> any of those you can use it. Yeah, for the kind of sketching. So for example, if I would like to sketch this one here, yeah. And for this, I'm gonna use actually different tools. I, I, I show you the polychrome, um, but there are other very good crayons like China markers. Yeah, they look approximately like this, you see, and they have very thick nib. So if you want to have nice uh, thin um, lines, you would have to kind of sharpen it little bit in the sharpener gently, gently because it breaks very easy. But the intensity of white, yes, of white and black is the most intensive, yes, and very strong colors and they cover everything. The only problem with those is when you sketch with those, you have to really do very nice lines because this, I cannot really, take it off with the needle gun. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult. You see, I can push it anytime, any, any, any way I want and it stays, yeah? So those are really permanent. permanent. And with those pencils, the China markers, yeah? A China marker, you can actually draw on every surface, metal, glass, uh, porcelain, whatever, you know, um, and, and it stays, yes? So it's very hard to wash out, okay? So those are really for constructors pens. There's a constructor guys so we're using this for marking the wood and all kind of stuff because they're erasable, not erasable, sorry. Um, uh, and, uh, but artists discover, and now they, you can buy an artistic store, all kind of colors, not just only black or white, but all kind of other colors. <laughs> so anyway, and so let's go with this figure, for example. Let's say we have this kind of figure. Yeah, the camera sees this differently that I, uh, let me just maybe make it maybe the head from the profile. Now, I would like to try to kind of have three quarter forms, yes? 
So that's not really the best what we have here, but you can see the camera see it that way. So let's just br br briefly sketch this. Yes, so we have approximately three quarters. So we start with the head. Okay, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna draw this head a little bit. So, you know, and this is, you see, pretty straight form. You cannot really adjust this corpus or nothing. Yeah, you can you cannot se separate the thoracic cage from the pelvis area and have different turns and so on. So it's pretty, pretty stiffy, but you can use it also for practicing, of course, the geometric forms, yes? So if I would like to draw that, yes, so I would go approximately, and now we're talking about three quarters. So first I'm gonna do this kind of, you know, ellipse of the head, isn't it? Then I'm gonna know it's three quarters, so it's approximately here is the front, so I take this small part, I add there, I'm going to have another ellipse over there. Yeah, so I kind of create the head approximately, isn't it? Yes, approximately. Maybe a little bit too long this ellipse is, so I would kind of, you know, when I am drawing so gently, so I can erase certain parts, yes? And now what we go? Well, you see the neck is kind of pretty straight, yeah? And all the uh, body is pretty straight, but you have to know one thing, that the human form, uh, from the profile, you remember, yes, how is it? That is not straight, it goes this way and that way, isn't it? Normal profile of human form. So you see here, you have the same look. If you go there, you see, you go this way and that, you see, you have this kind of S, yes? If you go in the middle line as the corpus goes, yes? Because you have also three-quarter corpus here, yeah? So... What I would do, instead of doing straight line, I would do it much more as the human form is. Yes, less more that way. And now I go with the rest similar, yes? So I go here, for example, one third. Yeah, and I go with this large over there a little bit, over there a little bit. So I'm gonna have approximately something of this kind here. Yeah, something of this kind over here. Yeah, and now two, three, four. And it's pretty straight, yeah? So it's gonna be something like this, isn't it? And here's gonna be the shoulders approximately, yes? If I'm gonna do myself this triangle over there, yeah? So I'm gonna have something like this. And now this, I double, it's somewhere there, yeah? A little more, yes? And now, of course, as I look at the, at the, at the feet, yeah, so they're kind of from profile, you see? And you can use this kind of, you see, profile curve, for the calves and curve in front from the thighs. The same is here, you see, curve, knee, curve, op opposite curve and heel and the foot, yeah? So you can, if you don't have any other figures, you can use those, yes, for sketching. So for example, I could go and let's say from here, I would have what? This, yes, I have a knee, I have that and I have the heel. Yes, and it goes a little bit this way, isn't it? And the same is over there, it's a little bit spread, yes? So I'm gonna go this way, approximately here, that way and that way, and I see a little bit that way, yes? The legs. So now I go with the arms, well, it is going that way, isn't it? So, but before I go, I'm gonna go the three quarter of the torso. So from my point of view is I kind of half here, half there, so approximately, for example, here I would have the shoulders, yes, shoulders, and here is going to be one side, yeah, to the half, yes, and another side, yeah, and half, and half, and I'm going to have again this kind of corner, and I see a little bit the top of it there, yeah, okay, and of course now we can put it the same way, conical way, but the curved form of the tide. And the same you can do here, yeah? Curve form of the tide, isn't it? You have the knee from under, somewhere there. You have the knee somewhere there. And you do the curve of the calf over here. And the same you can do there, yeah? There's or more, something around those lines, yes? And of course you have the foot going less or more somewhere here. And another gonna be less or more going somewhere there, yeah? Okay, briefly. Now arms, one is coming from there and it goes this way. And now 
third head is approximately here. So you're going to have approximately the elbow. Another elbow is going to be somewhere here, isn't it? So one, you go here, the upper arm, the other upper arm is going to go there. Yeah, somewhere there, like this. You have the elbows, you have the elbows, and you have the forearm going this way, the same length as you remember. And over there, yeah, it goes a little bit, oops, sorry. It goes a little bit this way, yeah, okay, over there, yeah. So we just draw something of this kind. And of course, now this is, you see, fist, yeah, both like fists. So you will, instead of doing this kind of, you know, uh, hand, you will kind of put it in the fist form, yes, something like this. And you will see a little bit on top there, yeah, okay, maybe somewhere here, yeah, and Oh, we don't gonna see it. Something like this, yeah. I'm gonna be the fist. Actually, you can do this a little bit better. The 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 point is already lost its sharpness, yeah. So you see, it's very hard to you know take it off anything, even if I was drawing very gently. So I will try to adjust this. So well, let's say this this. So how it's gonna be? Let's say uh, let's do the top. It's gonna be there, yeah. Then I'm going to have some break here and I'm going to have another part over there, which is not going to be visible. But here I would have something like that, like this, yes? For the kind of very synthetic hand. And over there, I go first with the front, yes? And after I would have this profile and I would have this part and I would see a little bit inside them, yes? So we're going to have something around this guy. Anyway, so we have kind of brief, yes? So let's go make it a little bit much more solid. So I do some kind of, you know, contours a little bit stronger here, yeah? And uh, well, I have the neck over there, yeah? So I just go, you know what to do with the neck. It goes kind of inside there. And here you're gonna have this kind of, you know, forms here, yeah, over there. Um, but uh, now you can actually try a little bit, you know, synthesize, a little bit much more, you see, there's the, the side of the chest, yes? You can synthesize a little bit the form, yes? So we can make it much more resembling the chest, yes? So we're going to have this part, we're going to have this part over there, yeah? And again, this is all connected with some kind of, you know, spine there, and you have the other part. And you can also modify this much more, look like pelvis kind of, you know, frontal part a little bit, a little bit that way. So you have the top a little bit this way, isn't it? Yeah. And now this forms there. So as you practice drawing this kind of forms, yes, you can actually make it them a little bit less, less simple, but you can complicate a little bit the forms. Yeah. You can complicate a little bit the forms. Okay. So they will kind of a little bit follow the real figure, uh, you know, uh, forms. Yes but it's still going to be geometric, yes? Because you actually practicing the geometry of forms, so you don't kind of want to make it, you know, uh, still realistic uh, uh, forms, yeah? And just practice first the, in proportion. That's very important that you practice proportion that way, yeah? With the geometric forms. And you play with those. Now they're a little bit different, yes? A little bit different. And you go now there, yeah? So kind of go there and make it maybe much more slimmer, even this part. And you see a little bit the, the stuff over there. You see a little bit this part over there. And you go with this, and you go with this. That's that's it. You have a little bit the, the knees over there. You have a little bit the knees over there, yeah? And you have the calves, a little bit tighter, yeah? A little bit maybe much more, you know, less, you know, um, uh, less uh, kind of a solid, and of course you can have it the front of the of the foot very simplistic, yeah, something around those lines, yeah. And over there you see much more from from let's say profile this, so you're gonna have some oops sorry something that way, yeah. So anyway, we have this. What we're gonna do now? Of course, we choose the light. Yes, whatever. So let's say this time we're gonna choose from here. So what's gonna happen? Of course, here we have the core shadow. Yes, something like this is gonna be core shadow here, isn't it? We're gonna have a little bit shadow over there, and again, core shadow, isn't it? And this neck gonna project some, of course, shadow on this 
part of the arm. And here, of course, we have this side chest. So we're gonna have a little bit, you see, much more darker here, isn't it? And over here, we're gonna have core shadow rather. In this case, we might have from both sides, a little bit here and a little bit there, yeah? Because it's frontal here, it's gonna be white. So over here, of course, this is gonna be darker, yeah? This is gonna be a little bit darker. And here, the core shadow is gonna be a little bit somewhere over there, yeah? Okay, and over there, yeah? Oh, sorry, a little bit this, a little bit that, yeah? And we go further here. And of course, this is going to be rather much more in white, but this part, of course, going to be a little bit and kind of having this kind of, you see, you know, darker part here and there, yeah? Um, and on the tight, of course, core shadow going to be where? You see, it goes this way, is white, so the core shadow going to be somewhere further here, yeah? Okay, further there, yeah? And the same here is going to be a little bit shadow and it's going to be core shadow a little bit here. And the tight also going to have the core shadow a little bit much more to the to this side, to this end. And here, of course, you will see maybe a little bit here, the darker part, because it's going to be the shadow projected on the on the inner part of the of the hand. Over there, you will have probably just this part in shadow. This is going to be white. And the core shadow here, of course, is going to be somewhere here. Yeah. Yeah. And also. Oh, a little bit something here and so on, yes? So less or more is something around those lines you're gonna have, it. yes? So now, of course, with the white, if I take this, so the, the most white is here, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of heats there, and it's after gonna be a little bit less down, yeah? Over there, yeah? So we have this kind of white there, yeah? A little bit. And now here you're gonna have, of course, a little bit core of light, little bit core of light. Those are touches, yeah? This, those are touches, you know? And also here, going to be having a little bit something wider and less wide there. And over here, of course, the chest, what are you going to have it? Much more. And because it's kind of rounded there, yeah? So you might have it a little bit wide here and maybe some kind of reflection there. Of course, you're going to have the wider part over there. On the neck, you have something there, yeah? you have on this arm, I am just pushing a little bit stronger in the lines now, yeah, but this is something which you can kind of, you know, um, and here, of course, it's going to be much more something like this. Over there, of course, it's going to be darker, but here it's going to have a little bit whiter and to the paper, yes, and core, oh, oh we forgot the core uh, shadow here, so we're going to have kind of core shadow somewhere here, yeah, we're going to have, of course, there, you're going to have of course, here and all this side gonna be core shadow. All this side of the foot gonna be core shadow, yes? So if we go further there, we can kind of go, you know, core shadow here and there, little bit points, little bit points, yes. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there, okay? So you have kind of, ah, I forgot the, the, the feet. So where is this gonna be much more stronger, gonna be there and after gonna be less, much more stronger going to be there and lower going to be less, yes? So what you can do now, you can kind of, you know, add additional, you see, kind of, you see, cornerish lights, yes? Okay, so you might have some kind of, you know, reflections here and there, eh? over there, for example, over there, for example, yes? You can get it, something here and there. So just kind of add, this is for the effects, it's not necessary. You know, you can go there, you can go there, you can, you know, emphasize a little bit with just lines, a little bit kind of get out this this uh, this entire, you know, form. Or you can, as I showed you previously, you can kind of put it around much more lighter, you know, much more light and spread it to the paper, yeah? If you sp spend some time, you can do it very nicely, yeah? So the, the, the figure gonna be much more kind of nicely, artistically kind of looking, yes? So if you go there and spread it a little bit, you see you can go there, yeah. And you see all this is going to be kind of much more interesting as a form, yes, dimension of the form, okay. So we can add some kind of you see lines here and there to just have kind of these reflections, yeah. And also here you can add kind of lines of reflections and everything, yes. And um, so we can do it this way, or you can, as I mentioned already previously, you can actually create darker space behind, yes. And you're gonna have this kind of, you see dispersion there, yeah? This kind of dispersion of black and you add a little bit the contours, 
over here over there so we kind of if you put some kind of black behind yeah so you're going to have this form kind of you see much more you see um much more kind of dynamic yes if you put it everything kind of appearing from the black okay so um well another form would be uh let's say this one and i'm gonna still show you another one um after that so of course um this uh, well you can actually sketch with white let's uh, try to sketch with white now okay so we have this kind of three-quarter position yes uh, i'm gonna put it maybe no wait a minute i'm gonna try to get this yeah something like that yeah well, the good part is that you can kind of stay a little more this way, yes? Okay, oh, or maybe we can imagine, look, we're gonna imagine this kind of kind of shortening, yes? The formation of the, of the corpus, yes? So you see a little bit from what? From the lower ground up, isn't it? Well, it's gonna stay alone and not really, not really, it's not gonna stay there. But anyway, so now, is it kind of shortening, but from here to there, you have approximately the same space as from here to the hills, not to the toes, to the hills. Anyway, the toes go up, you see? So if you want to sketch this kind of figure, so let's go, we can start. I'm gonna do it a little bit larger here. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? We don't have any, and it's kind of in front of us. Yeah, the only difficulty here is that we see it from kind of under, yes? It's kind of, here's this, the, 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 the floor, and we kind of under the floor, we look at this at this figure. So, um, and you can turn them any way you want, and you can do the same shortening. So, uh, you know, if I would like to, for example, sketch from there, I'm going to do a few. So first, let's do this one as we started, yeah? So a little bit kind of from uh, below, yes? From under the floor. So I think it was something like that. So let's go. I'm going to, uh, because I want to sketch two, so maybe I'm going to move here, yeah? And I'm going to use this space and after for the other one. So look, here you will go and you will do what? You do the ellipse, yes? You do the ellipse, yes, for the head, yeah? And you will see the three quarter of it, yes, because it's kind of, you see, three quarter, yeah? So, well, you add a little bit there, you're gonna have this. But now the eyes are not in the middle, they're up there. So the cheek is gonna, chin gonna be somewhere there for the face, yeah? So maybe with the black gonna be better visible. So what I had now as a head now, you see, I got something of this kind, yes? And now my chin is here because the eyes are higher, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So if you just do this, you will kind of understand what you're doing. And the ellipse finishes here, but this is going to be the under neck part, you see? So over there, I will see what the under neck part, isn't it? And as you go now straight down, for example, that way okay, somewhere, yeah? Okay. So we see now, if you take the head, it's going to be two, three, and something. You're going to have less heads now, yes? You know that this and this is approximately the same, but it's going to be shorter than four heads because you looking from below. So in this case, it's going to be approximately three heads somewhere there. So here already I have what? I have, for example, the base, for the thorax, um, for the pelvis, thoracic cage. You see, my neck is not going to be visible because over here, right away, I'm going to have the shoulders. Yes, the shoulders line. Yeah. So you see, because I'm seeing a little bit like this. Yes. So the camera is a little bit different. But anyway, you have this kind of shortening. So now, one ellipse width is going to be somewhere there. Yeah, because I am I am doing in the real proportions. Yes. Okay. Something like that. Yes, so now all this is the same somewhere there. So somewhere here, yeah, I'm gonna have the heels, yes? So now look the, where are the knees? This part from here to there is shorter and this is like one, two times. So if I go one, two, three, so 
I'm going to have it on the one third, I'm going to have the knees. Yes. And let's say if I spread the legs this way and that way. So somewhere there, I have the knees. Yes. Somewhere there, I have the knees. Okay. And now calves are there and my heels are here. Yeah. Those are my heels. Okay. In this area. And over there, I have the same. The heels are somewhere there because the, the feet is kind of spread. So one foot go this way. Yeah. And another go kind of up. Yes. Up, up there. Yes. So if I just kind of apply the geometry tights, so I'm going to have something like this visible from that, from that point of view. So of course, I have my knees. I have my knees here and the calves enter, cover a little bit the knees. And here I have the calves going less or more this way to the heel. Yeah. So I'm going to have something like this to the heel. And I have the heel and I have, of course, the foot going kind of, you see, this way, yeah? Over there, it goes a little bit. I have the calf, yeah, over there. I have the calf over there, yeah? There's the ankle and I have the heel. And the foot gonna go approximately somewhere here and there, isn't it, yeah? So I have the calf over there a little bit, oh, much more massive. I can do it much more massive, you know, as it is on the figure, yeah? Something like this, yeah? A little bit much more, you know, dynamic. And now is this part. You see from here to there, so is instead of being, uh, well, the half gonna be somewhere there, isn't it? Yes? And another half gonna be somewhere there. So what I'm gonna see it here, look, this geometric form, I'm gonna see a little bit in behind as well because it's certain thickness there, yeah? And I'm gonna have this part, yeah, of pelvis, there's a more that way. And then I'm gonna see, of course, under the thoracic, thoracic cage form, shape, yes, okay? And I'm gonna have this here, the, the thoracic cage, the front of the thoracic cage, and now, here I have just visible a little bit the under the chin and my head, if I do it kind of correctly, so I just adjust this a little bit, yes. I'm gonna have something of this kind, yes. There's no more. And I have, of course, what? I'm gonna have the shortening, of course, of the arms. Well, the arms is kind of, you know, if I want to do shortening, it's gonna be something like this. So first I'm gonna do my hand, for example, yeah? It's gonna be something like this. I see only this part because it's kind of folded. Yes, you have something like this with the hand, yeah? You have this kind of from the profile is something like this, yes? Okay, so if I if you want to see it, it's gonna be something, we see only this part. We don't see that one because it's behind. And what we have it here, we have the upper arm going, yes? And otherwise we don't see anything else because it's finishing somewhere there. So we see approximately something of this kind. And over here, we see much more because it's going this way, isn't it? Yes, the arm. So we can kind of go here and try to imagine as this kind of, this is much more slightly little bit gonna be longer this part, but it's still shortening as well, yeah? And you're gonna have the forearm, yeah, a little bit, but because you see the hand is somewhere on this level. So it's also some kind of shortening and, only the the front palette of the of the hand is going to be kind of visible, but this is shortened a little bit, yeah. This is shortened a little bit, and here is very very strong shortening, isn't it? Yes. So we have this kind of you know less or more form of of course of this entire model. Of course, if we go now, the light is from there. For example, we're going to go with the core shadow over there, yeah. So we're going to have something like this, you see, and over there. Uh, well, it's frontal, so we don't gonna actually do anything here, but you're gonna go kind of core shadow over here, core shadow over there, and maybe from this side, a little bit shad shading. Over there is gonna be darker. You're gonna have kind of core shadow there, yeah? And this is, is we're gonna leave it, but the tides are gonna go core shadow over there somewhere, yeah? Okay, because the light is from this side, and core shadow over there, isn't it? Under, you see some kind of shading. Under, you see some kind of shading. Yeah, those are the calves. And again, calves, you have core shadow here. Yeah, a bit narrower. There they go this way. Yeah, we have core shadow. 
all this part of the fruit is just shadow, isn't it? And the same going to be here, yeah? So the form of the fruit, if you put it there, is going to be in shadow, yes? Like this, because you're seeing kind of from the, from the lower uh, uh, part of this figure. So, well, a little bit kind of light here, a little bit, and this, you see, you're going to have the, the white rather from here to there, yeah? Okay, because the light is going to hit, uh, hit uh, much more this part. And over there, you will have a little bit here, and that's it. A little bit here, a little bit there, and maybe a little bit there. Yeah, small touches. It's very thick <laughs> stuff, so it's not very kind of um, uh, perfect. But anyway, you know, you're going to have this kind of, you know, white here, a little bit white there, a little bit something there, a little bit on the knees. Yes, some kind of reflection, a little bit here. A little bit there, and here you will see a little bit. Oh, this uh, I put it too much black here, so it's not in the covering. But it's going to have something of this kind, yes. So again, if we want to kind of, you know, shape it this much more interesting, so we we'll kind of go and make a little bit much more white behind and everything, yes, over there, so we kind of get this, you know, model. Oops, you see, it's a little bit, you know, uh, it mixing itself um, with the with the black and you get kind of greenish color so uh, it's, it's that's why it's always the best is leave the space of the paper between but anyway um so the same you can do of course with the white the white thing here uh, with the black sorry with the black application of background here and there yeah and kind of shape it a little bit you know much more the form here and there yeah so you can do it one way or the other and of course again kind of frame yes the kind of frame of these tides, the kind of you know, uh, dimensional. You will, you can see also here then certain dimensionality. Yeah, oops, sorry, dimensionality here and there. Yeah, and here and there as well. Yeah, so you can kind of cut it in pieces, and also the head. Yeah, you can only have kind of rounded parts and so on. Let's imagine this now a little bit much more from the top. So you will do again the same thing. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Again, the same thing. I'm going to take maybe much more thinner this time. A pencil, this one over there. Yeah. So we need, because those are very small drawings with the very thick uh, um, tip and um, nib, sorry. So this, you're going to see it shortening a little bit from the top. And the next videos, I'm going to show you <clears throat> another. It's all in my book. Yeah. Uh, all the shortenings, all the deformations of human figures. <clears throat> in my book, you have all the step-by-step -step show. So I'm going to just mention this a little bit here. But anyway, <clears throat> um, it is much more exact in my book. I said everything and explain. But um, this is, of course, we seen from the top. So you see, again, it's straight figure, yeah, because that's not really movable, flexible. So what we do? Well, the same. Now you're seeing this model from the top. Yes, so what you have, you have the head, isn't it? Yeah, and it goes approximately straight down in this angle, less or more. Yes, and you see a little bit three quarter, yeah, very little. So somewhere there, you see the top of the head, yeah, something like this. You add to this ellipse very little because the three quarter is kind of, you know, short here. This space is very little. <laughs> so we're going to have this kind of head approximately. So now you know that this is the top of the head, yeah? Because you see it really from the top. Yo, yo, line of the face and the eyes is somewhere there, isn't it? So the neck, of, the neck, of course, even though you don't do, it, do this in the short end, you don't draw the one third because you don't see it. Okay, so what you only see it most of the time the chest line is going to be approximately close to the chin, <clears throat> isn't it? And again, take how how long is this ellipse, and you have one and almost two. So you have one and two. In shortening, you have to measure the heads. Doesn't going to help you. You have to really take the head, good head, if you produce. You're going to take this head and check it out how many times it goes. That's how we create the shortening. There's, of course, other way of create all kind of shortenings. Um, I, as I mentioned, is in my book, perfectly explained and many you know, different you know, um, examples uh, for it. But 
Here I am showing you the method from observation. Yes, from observation. The other is much more in perspective and everything. So let's go second. So we have here the, the pubic part. This part is approximately here, isn't it? So now we go from that line, one here, one there. So it goes approximately this way, isn't it? Yeah, okay, this way. And now you have what? If I take, you see this part and this part. Yeah, so this time, this from here to there and from here to the top is smaller. Yes, how much smaller? You take the head and from there is one head two heads uh, and little. So from here, I take one head, this one, height of it, two head and little. Somewhere there, I have what? Heels, yes? So I have heels. So I know that the feet now, the he heels are there. Of course, they're gonna be kind of spreading of the legs, isn't it? Some kind of spreading of the legs. So I'm gonna have the foot, yeah? And one, as you can see it here, oops, sorry. As you can see it here, yeah, okay. As you can see it here, it's going to be going less or more that that direction, yeah, much more kind of frontal. And the other gonna go a little bit much more, you see, this way, yeah, over there, over there, over there, yeah. I'm gonna simplify maybe those. But anyway, I can, I can keep it as it is it's in the model. And now, where are the knees here? Look, from the hill, the knees is somewhere, you know, uh, again, I think is if I take from the knee to the to the pubic, it's like one, one and maybe half. So if I do two and halves, so the one is here. So I'm going to have the knees over there. Yes. So we're going to see it. Um, one and half is going to be the knees somewhere there. Yeah. So here you're going to have it what? The knees. And over there, the knees. And from those, you're gonna have the calves coming down, yeah, over there, yeah. Okay, and from there, you're gonna have the calves coming down, yes, something like that, yes, okay. And of course, you're gonna have the tides now, yeah, cover a little bit the knees, you're gonna have that, and you're gonna see a little bit from the top. Yeah, and over there, you have the other calf, uh, not calf, sorry, the tide. Yeah, it's gonna go that way, from the top, a little bit visible. And now the pelvis, yes? <clears throat> so pelvis is gonna be somewhere here, yeah? And you divide like in half, yeah? Because that's what you need, half, and another half. So you're gonna see it, this part of the pelvis, yes? You're going to see it there. And now you see in perspective, the lower part of the pelvis there, yes? Here you're gonna see it, what? The shoulders, you see? The top of the shoulders, yes? Yeah, okay, head is there, yeah? Head of the top of the shoulders, you see, you're gonna see something along those those lines, yes? Okay. And of course, you can go now with what? With the arms, yes. So third head is approximately, if you go kind of, you're gonna have to verify this. Uh it's gonna be somewhere there, like what approximately one third. So one third somewhere there, yeah. Somewhere there, one third. So you're gonna have over here, you're gonna have, of course, what you're gonna have the arms, yes. Okay, the upper arm, yeah, four. And the same from here, oops, sorry, it's kind of backwards, yes? Or I turn it, anyway, I'm gonna go as I see it, so it's gonna be somewhere there, yeah? I'm gonna have the forearm, yes? So now you have the, the elbow, you have the other elbow. And from there, of course, it goes much more that direction, isn't it? Yes, it's shortening, yes? And you have, you see, somewhere where you have this, tight you have actually you know the end of the hand and over there is going completely uh it actually should be even shorter because it's going uh, no, it's going this way okay anyway i'm gonna make it very short before i'm there yeah over there and you're gonna see just a little bit something as a as a as a as a hand part there nothing else yeah because it's really shortening so this is quite large after you have very small this parts and you have the, the hand there. So it's kind of shortening. So <clears throat> if we go kind of finalize a little bit this form, yeah, less or more here and there, yeah. And of course we have this part, we have that part, yeah, we have the shoulders, you have the 
So like I said, cage here, yeah, you can make it a little bit kind of like perspective look. Yeah, over there, yeah, over here, over there, yeah. You have this kind of connection there. And you have, of course, the tides, yeah, over there. So they kind of take, you know, you see them a little bit kind of from the top, a little bit, oops, sorry, these parts, yes. And you see a little bit this uh, knees there, and you see a little bit the calf base. And then you go with these forms of the calf, somewhere there, somewhere here, yeah, over there. And of course, you're going to have this part. If I would like to simplify the fit, so it's going to be like this. The other going to be a little bit, I see from the profile, yeah. And over there, I would go that way, yeah. If I want to kind of simplify this, simplify this. Of course, the side of the head is here, yeah. This is the top of the head now because I am looking from the top, yes. The neck, of course, is visible, but is hidden. And over there, I would have this, this form of the arm over here, over there, over there, over there, yeah? And another form over there, over there, over there, over there, over there yeah? So, well, look, if I would like, this is kind of shortening uh, the, 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 as you see it on the top. Of course, if you see it much more from the top, then it's going to be even much more shorter, yes? Uh, so let's just finish this briefly. So again, the light, well, I already put the shadow there. So I'm going to kind of choose the light, let's say, from that direction. <clears throat> so it's going to be something this. There's going to be kind of shadow projections of the head on the shoulder. And of course, here, I will going to have this kind of core shadow over here a little bit, yes. And something there and something a little bit there. Yeah, and something like that. Over there, I would have what? I'm going to leave it this because ah, I'm going to have some kind of shadow projected by the torso on the pelvis, yeah, from this angle. And, and how you do it, look, you go, you see, yeah, the line here, need to stop, it's shadow. This is the part visible, yes? You always go with the angle, yeah? The same is here, look, the face is end, yes? And there, yeah? And it might be some projection, leave a little bit paper and you can, push it a little bit on the chest, yeah? And over there, you might have some kind of projection on the arm also, yeah? So, um, uh, and over there, of course, is entirely going to be dark because the pulp is going to project this, you know, well, except this part over here. So, and we're going to have core shadow somewhere here, yeah? And over there, going to be somewhere there. And you have, again, the knee, and you have kind of core shadow there, yeah, over there. This side is going to be in shadow. And here you, you, you have just the front. Here you have core shadow, core shadow, core shadow. This side is going to be a little bit darker and so on. Yeah. So you have this kind of figure. And um, with the white now, well, I put this line unnecessary because I wanted to show you the top of the head. But normally it would go a little bit this way, the white. You see, you cross this. And here we have a little bit, yes. A little bit something here, a little bit something here, a little bit there, yeah? Okay, and a little bit here, you see this part, you will go and to the paper, yeah? You will go there and to the paper. Over there, you will push it a little bit, yes, the white there, yeah? A little bit something here, a little bit something there, a little bit here, some touches, yes, here and there. Of course, if you take some time, nicely, you have time and everything, you can elaborate this part much more interesting way, yes? But that was a kind of basic, you know, basic um, uh, forms. And of course, you know that those are uh, composed with some kind of forms when you can actually, you know, feel it, round it, round it everywhere. So you can kind of, on top of it, you can still draw, you know, forms. And much more you go with this object, of course, with the figure, either as this one or any other, you can, let's say, maybe do this one yes from the top yeah as you draw from the top you see so now is everything is in the head you have to take the head and just go like one you see one and a half head is to the pubic and this top is like to the heel is going to be like one third of this entire thing so if i would like to draw this briefly i would have some kind of you see Head like this, head like that, yes. Okay, over there. So I see from the top the head completely, yeah. So this is going to be the head I see, and that's the top of the head. This is the side of the head. And now I go, you see the shoulders are there, yeah. So you're going to kind of go there, yeah. You have the thoracic cage, and you go with 
if you go and sorry if you go kind of that direction so you just kind of go with the thoracic cage a little bit this way and you have what one head we said and half so one and half is already pubic yes so the half chest is going to be somewhere there and half of this is going to be the the the, the you know uh, pulp is going to be somewhere there yeah okay if we go with the geometric forms you're going to have something like this so let's do geometric forms so it's going to be much more rectangular here and there yeah okay and that's the head from the top okay and now we have the tights all this together is like one third yes so uh, let me just see this yeah is like one third one third of this is rather so somewhere there you have the heels yes so now we know that the feet from there it's going to be one here and the other goes a little bit this way so you just kind of put the feet there and now of course you see the knee a uh, very low yeah so the knee is somewhere there you have the knee somewhere there so the tights going to be here yeah you have a little bit knee you have the calf yeah over there and the same is over there yeah the tights you see the most after you have a little bit knee and the calves you almost don't see it yeah and you see only the feet after yes over there yeah so um if you want to kind of you know emphasize this a little bit calf okay here and there and of course ah we forgot the arms you see we have the arm over there coming yes so it's going to be kind of going this way shortening everything is short yes even the forearm is short and the the the, the palette of the hand is very short yes and the same is going to be there yeah you see a little bit much more here but they on the same level so the same shortening is approximately you have the forearm and you have the kind of palette of the hand there so you see everything is very kind of short yes so if you want to kind of project the shadow there and so on you know a bit car core shadow here yeah on the head yeah and this 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 a little bit here and a little bit there a little bit there of oh, i'm just sketching this very brief so here you have the, the, the light here you have a little bit light you have something there you have something there a little bit here a little bit there a bit there on the tights on the tights on the feet yes a little bit something visible here and there and you have some kind of you see shortening of these figures there so you can use this kind of you know exercises to play with the figures you have available of course the best uh, this is you know the other figure is that one yes uh, but it's a little bit too big to to play with it but it's much more realistic so if i would like to you know just briefly pre-sketch this kind of this kind of um you know figure here uh as a as a as a subject for example uh, so i could go and this is going to be much more realistic but very you know stiffy yeah so it's good for the beginners to have this kind of poses because it's very easy to do tri the three quarter profile you can see it very easy how it goes yeah all the line you see line 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 you see the angle here angle there to the neck and to the head yeah so profile you see very nicely how it goes this is a very realistic kind of standing normal natural standing of human form so you have i repeat once more you have this kind of head is straight because you see you compare chin with the front so it's straight yes and now so head is straight neck goes this way and chest go that way and pelvis go that way so this is very kind of natural position of human form and whenever you draw it from three quarter yes positions because frontal is straight so it's not really you know nothing interesting there unless you start drawing the shortenings yes either way either this way or the other way <clears throat> but let's say three quarter so three quarter you have the same look head is straight neck goes a little bit there slight angle and then you have this and you have that it's not as much visible uh, from this position i would have to turn maybe a little bit this way but even so you have to always follow the mid the kind of middle line you see middle here and you go there middle you see you will see that this is a little bit slight angle that is slight angle yeah from profile of course they are much more stronger but from the uh, uh, it's a quarter is something like that so if i would like to do this yes 
So what I would do, of course, again, I start with the ellipse of the head, isn't it? Ellipse of the head, yeah? Ellipse of the head. And I have three quarter, and this is kind of exact three quarter because normally in this first ellipse, the middle line gonna be there. So you see from here to there, I have this space, which I gonna add to here in order to have, so around, by the way, this space I gonna add there. So I gonna have, of course, this head, yes? And now I know that the line, the frontal line, symmetry line of the face is somewhere there. And because it's, I am drawing this kind of facing me, so it's approximately, it's not really on the middle. I would have to put it like this. So we're going to be much more in the middle, but let's say it's slightly raised up the line of the eyes. So it's not in the middle, but slightly raised up. So at the same time, my chin going to raise up and I'm going to see a little bit below the chin, isn't it? Yes. Okay. You can see it a bit here. Yeah. The shadow is in the shadow. So it's not very visible but you see a little bit under the chin. So, and now look, the neck is goes a little bit this angle, yes? And one third you take, so I'm, from here, you will go now with the chest, a little bit this way, yes? And somehow a little bit that way, yeah? But maybe I exaggerate a little bit here, it's a little bit too strong, but sometimes it's nice to a little bit push it stronger than you see it. <clears throat> You're gonna have much more plasticity in the, in the you know, and the figure dimension. So now I have the shoulders there. So of course I have approximately kind of steady, almost horizontal line here, yeah, of the shoulders. And again, I take one with here, one with there, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm gonna kind of follow with those, yeah. I'm gonna kind of follow. And now the heads, one, two, is three, four, somewhere there is the half of the body, yeah, okay half of the body. So as I apply the width here and there, yeah, the main corpus of the body, <clears throat> here, of course, I'm gonna have the one third, you know, triangular part there, yeah? So if I'm gonna draw the neck, I know that now from here, the neck goes here, from there, it goes there, isn't it? And I have the muscles, yes, the muscles, okay? So now, I see three quarter look approximately there. That's what you see the side of this. So it's like one, two, three. So if I divide in one, two, three, this is the side I see. Yes. So let's say thoracic cage is here. Yeah. Over there. And the other half, I have the side one third for the pelvis there. Yeah. I have something like this. So now I can use a little bit perspective. So now I'm going to see it a little bit this way and that way, and that way, isn't it? And I'm gonna see a little bit the top over there, yeah? And over here, I don't see anything because it goes this way, but here I could see it a little bit, you know, the form gonna be a little bit like this, like this. So if I just draw the geometric forms, they're gonna be like that, yeah? Approximately, okay, of course I have the connection, yeah? <clears throat> and after, of course, I will have the tides. I don't go, I have, don't, don't have space to, to draw them, but anyway, you know that they're gonna kind of start from there from there and they're gonna go one here for example another there yeah so we just kind of go and make those less or more you know <clears throat> as they as they go you're gonna have the knees and so on yeah <coughs> sorry <clears throat> so now the arms they go there uh, the third head is there so uh, if you do this kind of stuff you have the elbows one is here, the other going to be somewhere there, isn't it? So you can actually estimate approximately, you know, the, the upper arms there, how is it going to go? And over there, how is it going to go approximately, yes, with these elbows. And you're going to have the forearm going, going somewhere here, yeah, less or more. And the other going to go also kind of down there, yeah, this way, okay. And you're going to have the palette of the hand. So you have the hand approximately like this, yeah, and like that, less or more. And the same gonna be from that side. Let's say you see this kind of, you know, side of it, yeah, over there, over there, yeah, less or more, okay? So if we go with the head a little bit better now, here and there, yeah, so just kind of, you know, make it, you know that this is the side of it, isn't it? Yeah, that's the side of the head, okay? And we have the 
kind of neck normally if you would go draw the neck if not you just leave it for example the head as it is and you just put it to the you know thoracic cage and you keep it just geometric you don't have to you know you don't have to add the realistic kind of forms how it's going to be eventually when you draw much more realistic you know and um, uh, forms there yeah so you can keep it very simple with the kind of you know geometric forms over there or you can make it much more you know realistic yeah so for example if i would like to make this much more realistic what i would do of course i would go and put the neck i would put the, this uh, muscles here and i would put here muscles and everything and the same here i go inside with the neck i have the muscles i have of course the muscles here this stuff and everything and i would kind of draw much more yeah a realistic second head is going to be because it's a man so the thoracic cage is going to be there mammals somewhere somewhere lower here and there and here of course i would follow <coughs> sorry the middle part and uh, who big there <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. And this the chest, then yeah, you know, and everything, all the other details you can apply to this. Of course, you can make it also, you know, the eyes are there, the nose is gonna be there, lips are there, and so on and so on. Eyebrows, eyebrows, yeah. And you can put some kind of you know hair there and ears and so on. It doesn't matter, it's lady, so you will kind of make it a little bit lower the breast over here and there yeah so it's going to be a little bit different you know uh, uh, approach here and there to kind of you know sketch from this kind of models yes um of course you can though the good thing about these models is that you can take this stuff and you can do this kind of shortening you see this kind of shortening those are too strong yeah but anyway this kind of shortenings the best is to draw them uh, rather using the perspective perspective you know perspective in those yeah but this is everything in my book explained to the details and how to divide those and everything so i will do some other videos a little bit with the shortenings yeah but just remember that the craft paper is very sympathetic kind of surface to do this kind of things and they they might be much more interesting because you add a little bit kind of core core of light yes to the forms uh, yeah uh, even here yeah core of light core of light core of light yes and core of shadow yeah core of shadow core of shadow yeah and leave paper between yeah core of shadow here and there you see and then there yeah even emphasize it with the contours which are in, sh in in shadow yes so you can kind of go and have fun you know emphasizing these forms you know on the craft paper yes so um of course if you add a little bit you know this part and then but so you can kind of you know add you can shape it you know um anything with the white and black color so it's very sympathetic i would suggest you to try and um <clears throat> uh we're going to go in much more you know in elaborated forms next time so um that's all for now and have a fun with those kind of any kind of figures you have in your possession to kind of use them to practice the human figure in the kind of geometric analytic way. Mm -hmm.